More than 1,000 people have been gathered in Burkina Faso's capital, Ouagadougou, in support of a coup that a day earlier, oyster President Raj Kabore dissolved government, suspended the constitution, and closed borders. The latest in a long history of coups in West Africa comes amid an increasingly bloody Islamist insurgency that has killed thousands and displaced millions across the Sahel region. On Monday, soldiers announced they had overthrown Kabore, a move condemned internationally but welcomed by some at home, tired of widespread insecurity, alleged corruption and deep poverty. The crowd gathered in Ouagadougou's National Square to play live music, blow horns and dance. One carried a sign in French saying, quote, no to France. End of quote. A sign of growing frustration about the military role the former colonial power still plays in the region. Let us unite to change Africa positively. Join OAF. It seems we're back to the days of coups in Africa again. Coups seem to be making their way back to the African political space. In the year 2020, there was only a single coup in all of Africa, and that was in Mali. But in the year 2021, there was an escalation of coups all of Africa. We had four successful coups and two failed coups. The successful coups were in Chad, Mali, Guinea, and Sudan. And the failed coups were in Niger and Sudan. And as of 4th of February 2022, we've already had a successful coup in Burkina Faso and a failed coup in Guinea-Bissau. This is to show that coups are back to the African space again. And we have to do something about it. This is despite the fact that there was the OAU loan declaration in the year 2000 that frowned at illegitimate takeovers of power. And also, the Article 7G of the protocol establishing the Peace and Security Council that was made on the 9th of July 2002 at Durban in South Africa empowered the Peace and Security Council of the African Union to institute sanctions against those who carry out illegitimate takeovers of power. And at the time, it seems that coups dropped in Africa because from the year 2000 to the year 2019, there was just an average of about two coups a year. The African continent has had a history of coups starting from the 13th of January 1963 and the African continent has had over 200 coups and failed coups so far. But after the establishment of the Peace and Security Council and the Long Declaration, there was a drop in coups in Africa. But from the year 2021, we are seeing something new. What is causing the escalation of coups in Africa? First of all, why is it that the coups in the world are centered in the African continent? Because from the year 2017 to date, there has been 13 coups in the world. 12 out of those 13 coups occurred in Africa, and only one in South Africa, and that was in Myanmar. Why is there a lot of coups in Africa? And the answer is, the African continent has a political and economic environment that nurtures coups. An environment where there is tribalism, nepotism, bad leadership, bad governance, where leadership fails. Leadership in Africa is not serving the purpose for which leadership exists. Leadership in Africa, people enter into leadership because of their tribe, their religion, their party is the most popular party in the country, because of that they become the leader of the country. And they have, most times, nothing to offer. And because of that, there's a lot of poverty in the African continent. And the people become so resentful of their leaders, and also the military joins in that resentment and they overthrow the leaders and institute new leaders. And those same leaders that they instituted fail them and they have to keep repeating the cycle. And once there's a coup, coups will always continue. In Ghana, so far, there has been over seven coups and Nigeria, over seven coups. Once there's a single coup in the country, the trend continues. So what do we do? We have to address the issue of leadership in Africa, the issue of governance. We have to increase the level of governance in Africa and standardize African leadership in order to have leadership that solves the problems that we have in the African continent. If not, coups will continue. In fact, the coups are going to come more and more, more than ever before. Because the African people are so disgruntled with the current African leadership, standardized leadership in Africa, where everyone who enters into power has set targets to achieve based on the resources that will be available for him to work with. I shall be expanding this principle of leadership by standard for African leadership and to make African leadership the best in the entire world. But until then, African leaders must hold themselves accountable, must call themselves to order. If not, coups will keep occurring in the African continent and that is not the best way to have good leadership. But even though that's not the best way, that seems to be the only option available. I call upon the African Union to hold African leadership accountable for what they do in office. Just like African leadership is being protected 
by the Peace and Security Council from illegitimate takeovers of power. Also, the African leadership should protect the African people from bad leadership. Thank you very much. Isichi Merumuza is my name.